Welcome to something a bit different, everyone. Something that will likely showcase a rather unusual, potentially unknown mechanic that really won't rock your world, perhaps, yet I feel it will still be neat to see regardless. And it all starts with a situation that may not be so nice to see, especially for those out there playing our Spooter Boy Weber, our mean green merm queen Wurtz, or the soul-sucking playful imp here that is Wartox. In fact, sites like these are probably very familiar to these survivors, but ask yourself this. What if they could be seen less? What if instead of squashing bugs, Pigmen treated them nicely? What if the endless wars between Merm and Pig kind calmed for a minute or two? And what if even the haters of all things meet wanted to meet new friends? Folks, there is indeed a way to befriend both Pigmen and Bunnymen as Wurt, Weber, and Wartox. And it all begins with some obnoxious music. And nope, not joking there. In order to even think about using any of what's to follow to your advantage, you will be needing a one-man band here, and there are no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Thankfully, however, a one-man band is a magic craft that is relatively pretty cheap. at 2 gold, 4 nightmare fuel, and 2 pig butts. But it's also a tier 1 magic craft in general. Therefore, there will be no need for a shadow manipulator if you are indeed looking to do any of what's to follow early on. But yes, so what is about to follow, and how is it gonna flip and work? What does a one-man band even do, Beard? Well, in short, a one-man band is meant to befriend Pigmen and Bunnymen without having to feed them meat or veggies at the trade-off of a potentially hefty sanity drain that will grow with each and every one made loyal, mind you, as well as a lower-than-average loyalty timer once they do start following you. Now, Note that the ladder will actually rise if you continue to wear the one-man band. However, one-man bands are kind of meant to be used in bursts. So I guess it comes down to the moment of truth. Will any of this work with otherwise hostile interactions, if you know what I mean? And the answer is yes. Yes, it does. That said, the game doesn't always let things happen so smoothly with our otherwise incompatible friends. Even on the back of Weber, Wurt, and Wartox, the one-man band will immediately befriend Pigment, but only if they haven't already aggroed onto you before the effects can take place within the one-man band's range. In the event that they do turn hostile, however, an easy solution is to simply dodge their attacks and forcibly feed them meat and watch as their aggression drops entirely. But here's the kicker there. It is the one-man band that makes the difference. We have known that we could forcibly feed hostile mobs for a long time at this point. However, in the context of this video, it means literally nothing, because we can't force their loyalty this way, mind you. No one can. Well, again, unless you're wearing the one-man band. And unfortunately, this does kind of get built on by the fact that even with a one-man band on, a pigman will not see any loyalty time or benefit from additional meat given to it by Weber, Wurt, or Wartox at the end of the day. This means that you will be juggling some rather short follower timers, which could result in some issues for sure. And all of this is kind of odd too, because none of it is actually going to apply to our next new friend, Bunnyman. But trust me, they will be presenting their own problems for sure. In fact, Bunnymen are simultaneously the easiest yet most annoying to befriend when they otherwise shouldn't be. And here's why. The issue with Bunnymen is that once one turns hostile, all the rest of them go berserk too. Even those already loyal to you. Now, Wartox has a very easy out in all of this with his soul hopping ability, as he can use it to quote unquote trick the game, resulting in a short but very effective loss of aggro even for a second on the Bunnyman's parts that will calm them down immediately. But when it comes to dealing with this problem as Wurt or Weber, your only hope will be to get both your loyal Bunnyman and the one that turned everyone against you to aggro onto something else. They do that, they will stop hating you instantly pretty much. And folks, this is what tells me that we aren't exactly supposed to be doing any of this. But hey, that's what makes it fun to discuss.
Because there's even more to this mystery at work here. Like how while the force feeding trick will indeed work on Bunnymen, and that shouldn't surprise ya, the act of feeding these Bunnymen as Weber, Wurt, or Wartox will actually increase their loyalty timers overall in a complete contrast to Pigmen. So why does it work on one but not the other? That's beyond me. But it is nice to know that it will apply to all three survivors, so that the oddities grow, I suppose. But it's time to answer another question. What are the implications? And they shouldn't surprise you. Because even as frenemies, we can still benefit from having Pigmen shot for us as Weber, Wurt, or Wartox. Weber, Wurt, or Wartox all benefit from the ever-fluctuating sand in the auras of both Pigmen and Bunnymen followers, which is kind of funny to think about. And of course, followers will fight what you fight, even when they're supposed to be fighting you. So mind and manage them loyalty timers, and you will have conquered foe by literally turning them into friends. Have fun. But before we go, allow me to answer some questions that I'm guessing some of you are going to be having after learning about some of this for the first time, potentially. No, the same cannot be done and said to and about Merms, as neither the basic effects of a one-man band, nor the force-feeding tactic, plus a band, mind you, will work on them. Unless, of course, you're already wearing a clever disguise, but if you're already wearing a clever disguise, why the heck are you doing any of this for Pete's sake? Just feed the sucker seeds. Don't try to get fancy with something that doesn't need to get fancy. Side note, though. All Pikmin are neutral to all merms if in a disguise, so do with that as you please. But lastly, no. None of what we have discussed here today will work on spiders. It was a nice thought you had, though. It could have been cool. But there you have it, everyone. An oddly put together pseudo guy type thing about a mechanic that honestly won't mean very much to most out there, but it's one that's just fun to explore, I think. In fact, I'm starting to think that I would like to perhaps discuss more topics like these, so if you have got some unknown or rather obscure mechanics, or tweaks to farms, or anything like that, feel free to start sharing them. But thanks for watching, folks. Hopefully you have learned how to go from this to this, and I will see ya in the next one. Bye-bye.